Hey guys! So the next installment of my declutter series is skincare. Um, man, I love skincare. I've always loved skincare. When, one good thing, I've done so much better recently with skincare, and one good thing that I've found is that as I've gotten to know my skin a little bit better and know what works for me, I am less inclined to just buy everything. So I feel like the majority of my clutter comes from things that maybe I get for free or comes as a free sample or things that I get in a box or what have you that I know just doesn't really work for me. I found that with both my hair and my skincare that I'm less inclined to just buy so much stuff now. So I'm getting better. This is actually an improvement over when I first started making videos. Um, so let me just get to it. This category is going to be face wash, things that remove makeup, and toner. So let me just get started. Okay, I'm going to start with this because it's big and bulky and in the way. This is the Pericone MD Neuropeptide Facial Cleanser. I have not tried this. I had a, I bought a gift card for $50 and I got like a hundred and some dollars worth of product off of Pericone website from, I got the gift card from Guilt City, so I bought a few things to try. Um, I have not tried this yet, so I'm going to hold on to that. We'll go with face wipes. Um, these I really like. My husband at one point had picked up a bunch of Cetaphil stuff, and I still have a few things left. And these are one of the things he got, and I really, really like these. Uh, I think they're really good. They're, they have a nice moisture level. Um, the cloths are really comfortable. Obviously, I'm with everybody else. I don't really use these on a regular basis, but they're good to take along when I travel or the occasional just I need to get my makeup off now type situation. Um, these I picked up when I actually had forgotten those when I was traveling, and I picked up these and the Neutrogena ones. I haven't opened these yet, so I'm going to hold on to those. These are the Josie Marin Bare Naked Wipes. I'm really excited to use these. One of my favorite makeup remover so far has been the Bare, Josie Marin um, Bare Naked, um, the Argan Oil, the regular Argan Oil in the like bottle. Anyways, so I'm really excited to use these. I just need to go ahead and get them out and use them um, before they dry out. Hopefully they're not already dry. This is another product that my husband had randomly picked up. Um, these are really good at taking off your makeup. I don't know how expensive they are. He had bought me a whole box, so I've just been taking these with me when I travel. Usually one of them will take up pretty much my whole face of makeup. Um, so yeah, I would—I don't know. I would consider repurchasing these when I'm done, but I do really like those, so I'm holding on to those. This is the Body Shop Aloe Calming Toner. This has been in my travel bag. Um, it's been in there for a while now, and I've used probably about half of it. Um, I might take it out and finish it off soon just because. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm holding on to that. This is a repurchase. This is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. I accidentally picked up the lavender and I'm really sad. My favorite's the rose. I have used the lavender before and I like it and I'll use it, but yeah, I was really sad about that. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that. I'm probably not getting rid of anything in this category, honestly, because these are the types of products that I can get through, even if they're not my absolute favorite, because I just use stuff like this every single day. So um, this is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I actually like this okay um, for just a regular cleanser. It doesn't take my makeup off really well, but it also doesn't dry out my skin or anything. So I tend to reach for this in the morning um, when I just want to freshen up my face. And yeah, so I'm going to hold on to that. This is, well, if you got to shake this before you use it. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Mattifying Toner. I don't know that I would buy this again. Um... I do like the Body Shop Tea Tree products, as you'll see. I think I have all of them, or I have had all of them at least at some point. Um, I do really like them, and this is good for if I'm having a really bad breakout, I'll reach for this. But the problem is I just don't go through it fast enough, so I probably won't repurchase this, but I will hold on to that. Ooh, here's a product that I hate. I know a lot of people like this, and I think that uh, in the beauty community, people are pretty much split if they like by phase 
um, makeup removers or not. They just don't work for my skincare routine. Um, I use oils to take my makeup off. I use oils and a microfiber rag. That dissolves every piece of makeup on my face and it leaves my skin very clean and clear. And this is just an extra step that doesn't really work that great for me. So I am going to get rid of that. The, this is the Boccia Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I really like this product. It's a product that I use just occasionally in the mornings. Um, like, I do the Cetaphil. My skincare routine is actually really complex, but I know what works for me, and I like to have a variety of active ingredients. So I do keep a very complicated skincare routine, but I enjoy it, so that's fine for me. This is the Bioderma. I do actually... I've, I was debating on getting rid of this or not, and I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little while because I have found sort of a use for it for the time being. But just like with this guy, I don't, it's it's just an extra step. Um, but I am kind of enjoying playing around with it and using it, so I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Foaming Oil Cleanser by Skin Fix. I have not even tried this yet, so I'm going to hold on to that. This is the Tarte Friction Stick. I haven't tried that, so I'll hold on to that. Origins Modern Friction. Oops, I forgot. I have a big size of this in the bathroom right now. Um, I do really like this product. It is like one of the only manual exfoliants I can use and it has a dual, it's, it's a dual exfoliator. It has a chemical side and a manual side to it. So I do really enjoy this, but it's very, very light manual. It's rice powder, I believe. So it's very, very gentle. So people who can't use, um, Manual exfoliators, that's a good one because I, they tear my face up. I just can't use them. Uh, this is the Cetaphil Antibacterial Bar. This is one of my favorite multi-purpose products. This is the last one I have. Um, I use this to clean my brushes. I occasionally use it to wash my face. So really love that. I don't always buy the antibacterial. Sometimes I buy the regular one. Oops, I'll put that in the other category because it didn't belong in here. Um, ceramic slip sl blah, 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 from Sunday Riley, the clay cleanser. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm going to hold on to that. One of my favorite makeup removing products is Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Love this great product. Um, it removes all the makeup. Um, actually, this made me think I have another product that I like even more, though. Found that guy, and I found that guy. <laughs> Um, this, this guy right here, I just repurchased this, I've used it before, and it takes off my makeup so nicely. This is the Rodile Superfood Cleanser. I love the way that this smells, and it just, it does a really good job of getting my makeup off. So I really like that, and what I found is that I was debating between the two of these to repurchase, and this one's really expensive, but when you break it down per ounce, they're actually very similar in cost per ounce. You just have to buy a lot more of this one than you do of this one. They offer a smaller size here. So that was kind of a bummer, but I love that product. Um, so yeah, holding on to those two things. Let's see, haven't tried this. This is from Bat Fat uh, Bliss, the Fabulous Makeup Melt. I haven't tried it yet, so I am going to hold on to that. These guys are good if you've ever heard me talk about them. I don't actually use these to remove my makeup. I just use these for touch up and clean up and I love those for that purpose. This is the MAC um, Cleanse Off Oil. I haven't tried it yet. It was just a free sample. And this is the Ula Henriksen um, Toner. So I have Cucumber Face Mist. Um, I haven't actually tried this yet so I'm going to hold on to that. <clears throat> and, oh, this is just a product I didn't know where to put. This is the Milk Depuffing Eye Gel. So, yeah, I'll hold on to that for a while. So, only one thing so far, but I do have some things I'm going to get rid of. Okay, this is the next category. This is pretty much everything else skincare related that I have. I think I actually saw a couple more cleansers in here, but, so let's just get started. Um... <clears throat> This product is the Kaolin, how, would, how did we say, how did I decide we we're going to say this? The Kaolin, I think, um, hot cold pore pack. I had two of these and I hated it. I don't remember what I disliked about it, but I am going to pass that along because I did not like it. 
the Ula Henriksen Clean Truth. I got these as a sample. Um, I've used these before and they're okay, but they're a little bit irritating for my skin, so I'll just go ahead and pass them along. These I love. They're in the Intensive Eye Collagen Under Eye Pads. Um, I love any sort of cooling mask for the under eye because I get puffy there and I like things that help with that. Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Foaming Mask. Um, I bought this on sale. It's the only way I'll purchase it. Otherwise, it's way too expensive for what it is. This is the foaming mask. Um, I do really like it, though, so I'm going to hold on to that. Have not tried this little sample yet. Uh, Skin Ink Pure Revival Pill. This is up next for me to try. Um, I don't. This is probably in the wrong category, but this is the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I just, this has um, dimethicone in it, and I don't tend to use dimethicone on my face, so I'm going to pass that along. Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. I really enjoyed this, but unfortunately I can't use it faster than I think it's going bad. Um, I only use this when I'm having like a, a bad breakout, and I love it, but I feel like it's losing its efficacy. Um, yeah, it's still, it smells okay, it's acting okay, it's not breaking me out or anything, it just feels different. I am going to hold on to this and try to finish it up, but I don't know that I would repurchase that. Definitely wouldn't repurchase this. This was awful. Um, I don't like this at all. It's supposed to be like a cooling stick. I hope it's already dried out. I just, no. I didn't like that. Um... This is the La Mer uh, Moisturizing Soft Cream. Got this in a Sephora box, um, so I'm going to hold on to that. For the time being, I might actually give that away, though, to my mom. Liquid Blender Cleanser. Getting rid of those. They're probably in the wrong category, but who cares? Um, <laughs> raw Coop Raw Sauce, or May Coop Raw Sauce. I'm just getting rid of that. I, I'm weird about what moisturizers I will put on my face, and basically I can't have any oils, and I can't have any silicones. If I avoid those two things, my skin stays really clear. When I add those things into my routine, my skin starts to break out. I get clogged pores, and then I just get acne problems. So, I do try to avoid that. Um, Paula's Choice Resist C15 Super Booster. Unfortunately, this goes bad so fast. Um, it went bad before I could get to it. I just opened it up the other day and it was orange, and I read it's not supposed to be orange. Um... Yeah, if you're interested in vitamin C products, whether or not they're supposed to be orange, you should look it up because sometimes they're not. Um, this is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Um, I'm actually using this on my stomach, on my little stretch marks, and it's doing pretty good. Um, it's almost done, though, so I'm going to hold on to that and finish it. These are some masks. I bought the little mask set, so I have some more coming up somewhere. Um, I've tried this one. I do like it. It does give a temporary filling effect for fine lines um, or even, you know, pretty deep wrinkles it, it works on. Um, but it's obviously very temporary. So this is the 24 karat gold mask. I do like that. I've used the blue... This one isn't Blue Marine Algae. Um, I've not been really impressed with this one. It's okay. It gives a little bit of moisture to the skin, but I don't know. Dr. Jart UV skin or UV sun fluid. Once again, with sunscreens, it's so hard for me to find one that doesn't break me out. Um, as a matter of fact, I have another one, but it's downstairs, and I'm not gonna go get it. But this one sunscreen that I found that doesn't break me out is the Derma E sunscreen, and it doesn't have any oil in it, and it doesn't have any silicones in it. So if you're looking for a good sunscreen, that one is really good if you have problems with um, breakouts. It, it's zinc based too, but it doesn't leave a white cast. Oh, I love it. Actually, let me clarify. It does, it will leave a white cast if you use too much. So you just have to put it on very sparingly at first, but it's excellent. Excellent. Okay, let me move on. Um, this is the Ren Rescue Mask. I'm going to hold on to that. I have not tried it. Origins Gen Zing Eye Cream Sample. Um, I've used that before and I like it, so I'm going to hold on to that. Tarte Guard Sunscreen. Getting rid of that for the reasons I just said about sunscreen. This product I hated. This Exuviance Triple Microdermabrasion Face Polish. I cannot use manual exfoliation on my face. 
and this just broke me out. Anytime I use manual exfoliation on my face, it breaks me out, which is annoying. Um, Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This one is both a manual and a chemical, so what I do is just pat this one on and rinse it off. I don't rub it on my face, and I can actually use it that way, and it is effective, so I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, this is a product I am using, but I probably wouldn't repurchase the tea tree oil from Bath and Body or Bath and Body or the, the Body Shop. Um, I do think this is a decent product for acne, but I found better. But I'm, I'll try to finish that one. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I'm probably going to use it on my stretch marks at some point, just because it has ingredients that I don't typically put on my face. But it's the Strivectin Active Infusion Youth Serum. This came in a kit, so. I wouldn't have purchased it, but since I have it, I'll probably use it on my stretch marks. Nukes um, oil, another product I'll probably use on my body, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Love face masks. I do lots and lots of face masks. Um, Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding. I thought that was cute. Um, I got this in a Sephora box, I think, but it's really cute. I'm sure it's just going to turn gray, but anyways, so I'm going to hold on to that. This is another product I will probably just use on my body. I've used this before on my body, and it actually helped a little bit. I thought the areas that I used it on looked brighter and nice, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, seaweed Matte Day Cream. Not interested in this. This isn't something that I would... When I say I'm using stuff on my body, a lot of times if it's just a little sample or something... I, I like of something I wouldn't put on my face. I'll use it up on my body because, you know, hey, great, good skincare for your chest and stuff. But, you know, I don't need a mattifying day cream for my chest. So I'm going to go get rid of that. This was a crap product. Um, it's a natural brand. I, I believe it's a natural brand. But the product just didn't do anything. It's from Cosmetica. And this is one of those that you're supposed to, like, spray on your face and let it sit and then kind of rub and your skin's supposed to come off, but it didn't work. Um, I don't know. I went back and forth with it, and then I just got aggravated and said, you know what? I'm done. <sighs> this is the Truth Sugar Polishing Mask. Mm, I should probably get rid of this. I should probably get rid of this. I know manual exfoliants don't work on me. I feel like I've used that before. SK2 mask, love, 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 love. What I do with these, I use the mask and then I put the rest of the product in another container and I use that, the rest of the product over time. So I get like a month's use of, a month's worth of use out of that product. One of my favorite salicylic acid spot treatments um, is from Origins. This is really good. I don't use salicylic acid too often, but... I like to have some just to kind of mix it up a bit. Clinique Pep Start, something I'll probably just use on my body. Um, so hold on to that. Water Drench from Peter Thomas Roth, same thing with that. I'll probably hold on to that. Oh lord, this has been around forever. Um, Stay Matte Primer, getting rid of that. Um, I can't really use silicone based primers. Walnut Complexion Scrub, man, I, I should just get rid of that just because I know, I know I can't use exfoliants on my face. Um, a new intensive eye cream from Strivectin. I have this one, but I feel like it's getting ready to like go, I feel like it's been open for too long. Um, it's been a little over a year now, so I've just been trying to finish this one up really fast. There's just a little bit left in there, and then I'll replace it with that, so I'm putting on to both of those. Two masks that I picked up to get to free shipping. Um, haven't tried them yet, but I don't love sheet masks. I just, I can't. Um, something about them, they just make me feel like suffocated. I just don't, I don't know. I keep trying though, and occasionally I come across one that I like, like the SK2. I do like that one. Um, Biopill mask and a flash patch. Ooh, these are for under the eye. I love those. Holding on to those. This is a product I actually like, um, the Caudalie Vino Perfect. Um, this is a good product. It doesn't have silicone in it. I can't remember. It might have a very light oil, but I don't think it does that either. This is just good for helping keeping my light or my dark spots lightened. This is a good acne product, um, Seaweed Clarifying Night Treatment. I do really like this. Uh, 
so far. I haven't, I've only used a little bit of it, but I'm having decent results with that, surprisingly. Oh, this is a product I hate. Um, Botanics Hot Cloth Cleanser. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with this. And I'm cool with cleansers. This was so oily and I can't get it off my face. When I Once I put this on, I have to wash my face like three times afterwards and I'm just not about that life. Not only because it's inconvenient, but just because I don't like stripping my face that much and I just felt like it was clogging my pores. It was just bad all around. I really don't recommend that. It was good at getting my makeup off, but it just left greasy yuck on my face and I don't have that problem, especially when I do a dual cleanse. Um, I'm not sure what the ingredients are in this. I'm going to hold on to this for the time being. These I have not tried yet. They were all in the little mask kit that I bought, so I'm going to hold on to those. Um, La La Retro Whipped Cream. I'll probably just use that little bit on my body that's from Drunk Elephant. This is a mask that I went back and forth with. The problem with this, it's the All Natural Face healing mud mask. It's got Rasool. I think you say Rasool clay. I, this product works so freaking good, but it hurts. Like it's too much for my skin. It's too drying and it leaves my skin feeling a little sensitive afterwards, but man, it works. If I'm having clogged pores, like one use and my skin looks good. So I'm going to hold on to that. I just, I can't let it go. <laughs> I keep saying every time I use it, I'm like, I'm not using it again, but I'm going to keep using it, I think. Origins Ginseng Pill-Off Mask. Um, this has not been tried yet, so I'm going to hold on to that. Ula Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. Eh, I'll hold on to that. I haven't tried it yet. La Roche Posay Cero Zinc. I do really like this. I love zinc. Zinc is so good for my skin problems. Um, so anytime I'm having a bad breakout or any other skin problem on any other part of my body, I will spray this on there and enjoy. Let's see. I love the regular version of these guys, but these Aume Longwear Waterproof, they're soaked in oil and they... When I use them on my eyelids, um, when I use them on my lashes, they tend to get into my eyes and leave a film on my contacts and then I can't see and it's really annoying. So getting rid of those. Glam Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I do not need that. Um, there's in ingredients that don't work well with my skin. Same with this Tarte Guard and same with the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. So won't be using those. These I love. I've used the Facial Treatment Essence. I absolutely love this product. Um, right now I've been using the First Treatment Essence from Misha. And it's j probably just as good. So if you don't want to shell, shell out the dough to try this product, I would recommend trying this one. Um, I think that you would like it just as well. Um, there, there are some differences though. So... But the cost difference is amazing. Um, this is a set of stuff. I don't feel like taking everything out, but I'm going to hold on to those because I just bought them and there's products in there that I like. And Bare Minerals. Eh, I'm struggling with this one. I actually like this product and before I found the SK2 product, um, this was the only thing that I had found that helped keep my dark spots kind of lightened. But it's not as good as the SK2 product, and I'm just, I'm using up one right now, and it's taking me forever. So I think I'm going to try to pass this along, and then maybe if nobody wants it, I will, I will hold on to it. So we'll do that. That sounds like a plan. This I don't use on my face. It's the skin clearing lotion, just because it has things that my skin to, on my face does not agree with. But I will use this if I'm having a breakout on my body, which while I was pregnant, I had trouble with, and... Even still now, I'm still kind of having a few here and there. Product that I love, the Ula Henriksen. These are the products. Everything in here is like what's in my, what was in, some of what was in my medicine cabinet. Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Treatment. Love this. This is a, um, is it glycolic acid? Love it. This is the best product for lightening my dark spots that I have found to date. Um, this is great. And the ingredients in it aren't... Uh, don't irritate or bother my skin. However, they have repackaged these. I don't know if they changed the formula. I really, really, really hope not. 
I'm running out of breath. Benzoyl peroxide acne medication from Neutrogena. This, I, I try to avoid using this. I had an experience with a Proactive. I used to use Proactive, and then I realized that it wasn't the best thing for my skin. But occasionally, with a really stubborn breakout, benzoyl peroxide is just the way to go. So I like to use that on occasion. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. Man, this stuff is amazing. Um, it won't make your zit instantly go away, but it does a pretty damn good job of making it look a lot better. And the Clinique Pap Star Eye Cream. Um, I like this. Okay, it's just a decent eye cream and it's pretty inexpensive and it gives you a decent amount of moisture and it's just very, very decent. So if you just need a decent eye cream, I recommend this one. Um, anyways, so those are all the products. Let me give you the what I'm getting rid of, what I'm keeping. I did okay. Skincare is just one of my loves, so. Okay, so definitely not an amazing job, but I did get quite a few things out. It's nice to have a little less clutter. These are all the things I'm getting rid of, and these are all the things that I'm keeping. But, you know, I'm doing what I can do, and overall, I feel like I've gotten so much better with what I'm bringing in, and that makes me happy. And I feel like a lot less things are going to waste these days. Um, I'm getting faster at just passing things along that I don't want so other people can at least enjoy them. And I like that. I like to share the love. So, anyways, um, that's all I have and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!